snooker's not the be all and end all and you just you know I, I was completely shackled up the first session because probably because of what the occasion was and um, as soon as I forgot about it just relax let go and you know started to flow I started to show what I was capable of and um, you know if I did that right from the start who knows it could have possibly been a bit closer I mean I know you're an emotional person you you wear your heart on your sleeve but you did look at times like it you know the pressure of it was getting to you a little bit out there but I guess it's your first final appearance yeah exactly I'm only 28 and um, you know I was listening to some amazing stats that Rob Walker was saying as we were walking out it was only six years ago it was my debut so when you think of that, I'm still a baby, really, at the Crucible. So, um, yeah, to have the record I've already got, and it's building each year, obviously, you know, I'm doing doing something right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to absolutely get plum on it. It's been um, a tough couple of weeks, been a tough couple of months, as it has been for the whole nation. And um, I've literally been doing, like, eight hours a day snooker, so I'm going forget to for, uh, forget my name tonight. But certainly everybody that's taken you know, part in this tournament, you included, and Ronnie you know, I really have helped maybe lift the nation's spirits just a little bit in very difficult times. Yeah, 100%. You know, I got a taxi down for this last session and the taxi driver said to me, do you know what, Kyron, your character's brilliant. You've put smiles on people's faces, especially in that semi-final. And um, when people say that to you, it really makes you appreciate what you do for a living.